I recently got a call from some of my Argentinian friends wondering if I could play the Enzig mod. I don't know why they requested I try to save Germany in 1944, but I guess they have their reasons. I have not played Enzig before. Ah, this looks way too savable. This entire thing does not look that bad. Finland is in my faction. Ooh. And then we have Croatia, Italia, Serbia and the Slovaks as our puppets. We have 8 million manpower. Ah. Hmm. About that 8 million manpower. Whoops. I guess, yeah, I guess the Italian front is looking pretty bad because these divisions don't have a lot of strength. Tibet changes national focus tree to dead Brazil focus. As for focus tree... Yeah, okay, it's the NC. Like, this is the 1914 focus tree. Sea lion? Currently not implemented. One thing I also had to do is I had to roll back to pre NSB because um, the supply system is not implemented yet, which I find a bit sad. I guess I can understand it. They have to do it for every scenario. You know, uh, there's uh, 1914, 1918 and so on. And then they also want to make it sort of historical. This one is only 35 days. I will get Alsace and Luxembourg. Actually, I already own Alsace as a core. Okay, then this focus is not worth it. Instead, we will go for the Reichskommissariate. These are all of the uh, World War One ones and these are the ones I can pick for us. 8% division org is very nice. In the other scenarios, I probably have to go for back because with the additional org we can also hold better. Infantry expert, yes. Logistics, definitely. And then recovery rate. Yep, 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 yep. Something like this I really, I really miss in base hearts of iron. Like you can have your conscription laws, but they don't really punish you. I can send eight year olds into battle and an eight year olds but it doesn't affect their effectiveness. Oh my god, 70% construction speed. I think we, we have to at least go down to all adult surf. I don't know if we can go for service by requirement. Research. Let's go for final air doctrine. Why do you not have logistics companies? I had the option to either go for this one or this one. This one gives us a mm, 10% uh, land night attack, which basically means 5% in general, since during the day we will have zero and then in the night we'll have 10 which equates to five here we get five for our leg infantry we don't get it for our tanks but it's much faster to research so i'm gonna go for this one true we can just build bathtubs oh this is old hearts of iron yes 400 divisions oh my god <laughs> Up to 1,000 divisions, oh my god. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Reinforcements upgrades are not important. What is this mess? No, oh, the resistance targets are actually pretty low. First of all, let's make a defensive one. I guess Bok. Oh, Rommel is a good defense guy. Let's just defend the ports in Norway. There we go, that's everything. Then let's get divisions from everyone. These divisions don't have any org. We should be able to push into them relatively easily. Maybe... No, no, no. Okay, cool. I can draw offensive lines. <laughs> Whew. Doing it! What have they done to you? I guess I'm gonna get someone from the First World War as my Second World War Army General, Navy Commander, Admiral, Head of Navy. Comet sighted! <laughs> Why is everyone joining against me? And ugh, what is this? Romania! I was backstabbed! I did think it was weird that Romania is already... Okay. Then we're taking so much damage! Ah! <gasps> we can... We can... I can do some damage. Take that! Taste the pain! That's what you get for stabbing me in the back. Honestly, the Romania was done so dirty in... What? What? <laughs> Romania was done so dirty in World War One. World War Two. This is a game about World War Two, you moron. Finland, everywhere I go, it's just pain. 
And then the first Yugoslav partisans rose up. Where is it? Italy. No! Finland and Soviet Union have signed a white peace. And Turkey says goodbye to us. But they still have an opinion of 100. <laughs> we don't have any anti-air. That's pretty bad for anti-air divisions. Why is nobody here? And then the second Yugoslav partisans rose up. Why did Hitler declare war on so many people at once? Hindsight, that feels like a stupid idea. I can always retreat, you know. The Bulgarian front. Oh, but look at all of this green. What about Japan? Is Japan doing anything? Hmm. Uh, maybe. They might... They might cap India. After deleting their entire army, the Finnish government decided now is a great time to declare war on Germany. As you history nerds know, this was due to an increasing pressure from the Soviets and the US. One day, 21 hours, 16 hours. Perfect! This way we will have the defensive battle. Oh! Oh! They are intentionally throwing. They are inting, they are inting, they are inting. Okay, nice. Don't think I really care about anything else here. I'd rather take the PP right now to lower our war exhaustion. In terms of resources, honestly, I think I might as well release Norway. Okay. The Kingdom of Belgium declared war on the Kingdom of Belgium. Hold up. That is a weird tree once again. Yeah, it's from two different generations. No, Bulgaria. Why would you capitulate? At this point I was seriously contemplating giving the Balkan front up. But for now I decided it would be best to keep the industry, so I tried to recapture the Bulgarian land that we just lost. We don't need to hurry here, there are no ports that the allies could use to swarm into here. Regardless, it's free occupation we're giving up. <gasps> Base stability, yes. Give me gun. Give me gun, garrison support and stupid divisions that are useless. I don't really need the manpower. I still have 6 million. All 6 million people. Warsaw Uprising. Oh no. I will use my beautiful little tank. Yeah, come on. Warsaw Uprising. Of course Warsaw will fall. No! If you watched a full game on my side channel, you know that I've complained about it a few times in there, but I have no idea why I did not get notifications for naval invasions. I only got them every now and then, and I assume in this patch the naval invasion sound only fired when some of your troops were fighting an invasion, but that doesn't really work out since I have more troops than ports, so I honestly have no idea. Okay, nope. Nope, stop this. This is not worth it. They reinforced. That's cheating! You're not allowed to send troops in again. Oh my god! How am I supposed to break through this? 4.6k defense! Ooh, nice! We also get hungry as a puppet. I'm starting to wonder that I can do a better job than Hitler. I should probably also delete one or two divisions. This way we have proper divisions that can defend and attack instead of only having these half-half divisions. Brasilia did join against me. Volkstop Königsberg. <gasps> More divisions. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna delete these. <gasps> oh, I think they just threw Finland under the bus by leaving Turku. Turku. No! Yes! Right on time. Okay, what now? <laughs> There's no way you can hold this front. Send them back here, I guess. If the Soviets capture the Finnish land, then Finland is also not gonna re... gonna pop up again. So that's good. Maintenance companies could be pretty cool here for all of the additional equipment capture. I don't usually build them, but I feel like in this scenario they could be pretty cool. Gommel is doing wonders and... Can we get the encirclement? Yes, we can. Make America great again. It is pretty hilarious that Kojima used that voice line before Trump came into power and then Trump came into power. In the meantime, we got the fifth Yugoslav partisan rise up. Oh, I can definitely push down here with my new commanders. Not with everyone! I fucked up. Yo, those Soviet troops. No org, no strength. But they're still pushing the Baltics. CM is gone. Oh, that means the Japan... Uh, the Japanese are also losing in China. Okay, uh, Norway is lost. I don't think I'm gonna defend it. Yeah, the Soviets have occupied Finland. 
no, I can deal with this. I just need to push here, here. Boom, now run back. You are encircled. Be molto and off to the next front. <laughs> we skipped mechanical computing. Thank you, dear mod developers. Hungary proclaims greater Hungary. How? I get. Wait, you're still under the Horthy government, even though Horthy has been de de deposed. God! <laughs> Look at this! This looks worse than the modern day Balkans. Ach, the Panzer Division? No. You're no longer a Panzer Division. <laughs> oh, I hate that my uh, garrisoned divisions always attack now. And I wish you could tell them if an enemy caps it, just ignore it. Yeah, screw those islands. It's not worth it holding them. My industry can't keep up. It's almost as if I was at war with half the world. Sounds about right. More like 80% of it. Just look at the... That's not a tank division anymore. It's not even a division anymore. My Estonian forces are still holding strong. The Kingdom of Portugal joins the Tour Covenant of the Mediterranean. Yeah, I don't think this mod was played after La Resistance came out. Else we'd have an agency and the events of Bulgaria wouldn't pop and this stuff also. Boom shakalaka. A single division has been encircled. Wait, why cannot? Oh no, that's... Oh, I think that's something they added in. No step back. Yeah, they, they, and no step back they added that. Where you can select this and then you get all of the divisions of this template. Apart from like two hours, he's just been with me the entire day. It's cute and all, but it's also sometimes just exhausting. <laughs> but hey, I'd rather have this than the other way around, where he just says piss off the entire time. If one of my well-trained and well-supplied armies dies, I think I just have to quit. Oh no, I think the game is doing the quitting for me. I was like, yes, it unfro. No, it crashed. I, I'm just gonna ignore the Soviets. If I ignore them long enough, they will all be dead. Seven million. Oh. Okay, that's good. That is good. I can push into here. I should have done this so much earlier. Ooh. Ooh. The luck is turning around for most of Germany. We never had any divisions in Latvia, don't look at that. Volkssturm in Wien. Is it another? Yep. I guess it's the Volkssturm. They are not trained divisions. <laughs> Eight million Soviets. Oh, this number. It's just... It is tickling me in a very special place. Let's just send you here, I guess. And then let's encircle a few divisions around Hungary. Oh! Wait a minute! For Hatay? No, they own it. Probably for Aleppo, though. Syria. Doesn't really make sense historically that Portugal would be at war with Britain because Turkey wanted something. <laughs> There's nothing in these divisions. Nothing. They don't have any manpower anymore. Yes. Sure. I'm gonna invest in Turkey. It's not like I have anything else on my mind right now. Oh, I, I did wake the bear up. <laughs> Trying to free them. When did this happen? I do love that the gorilla's official name is Gorilla Gorilla of the Gorilla Genus. Oh my god, they can push so much better than I expected them to. What are these enemy divisions made of? Whoa, if I do this, it should be possible. Because then they are gonna attack into this tile. I'm gonna defend and yes! Didn't have to do get a new army here. Balkan Diplomatic Initiative. Ooh. Due to the Balkan Initiative, things are gonna get hectic for me very quickly. Not counting the invasion they did for Italy before the scenario or D-Day and I might have missed a few invasions. This is all they've done so far. Five Yugoslav partisans have risen up. Warsaw uprising as well. They have navally invaded the Balkans once. They have navally invaded Italy eight times and they have navally invaded France and the Benelux 26 times. And the allies are still expecting something to change. 
This does make me wonder, at which point would the allies have given up? I mean, if it's not a stupid computer program that's just gonna do the same thing over and over again, at what point would the allies have given up? At least a white piece. A status quo. If D-Day failed, how many more people would have had to die? <laughs> I guess we can really thank Rommel that he went home early that day. Logically, the only thing we can learn from this is that anybody who works overtime is a literal fascist and wanted Nazi Germany to win the Second World War. Oh my god! Counterattack from the Soviets from behind! And the fight for Italy looks like an infestation. Oh, yep. We're losing Greece now. They started a new initiative and they immediately lost 300,000 people in Belgium. Oh, uh, yep, that's pretty bad now for me. Turkey was puppeted and Portugal was white pieced. Out of curiosity, I attacked over to the Soviets and their stockpiles are not looking too fresh right now. I didn't get any notification again. This is how Hitler must have felt. <laughs> Nobody told me they were invading France. They freed Belgium, which might have been a mistake. All of the land flipped to Belgium, they reinstated Belgium. If I can recapitulate Belgium, all of these three divisions are encircled. We got like two Volkssturm events and now we formed it. Japan, please do something. What the fuck are you doing, Japan? Okay, we can push the allies out of this one. They're technically encircled. They might get mill access from the Soviets. Yep, we're getting into the terror territory. Did I just find out that I have Tourette's? Where my CPU is frying. This might also be the reason why it's getting so hot in here. I think I'm just gonna call it. Ugh. I feel like I've proven that with enough time I could win this. It's just a grind. I've stabilized my economy. I could build more troops. Uh, I do have manpower plenty manpower to spare. Especially look at this man. That's like one million. As for this one, I will say it's a victory in my book. I have stabilized this thing enough. The next time we check out and seek, I can go for the late 1944 start and then in the 1945 starts it's probably just gonna be like how much damage can I deal? How long can I survive? This is also a big problem with Crusader Kings. I think the game itself is fun. I just don't enjoy fixing what I start with. Inheritance law and then having a bad ruler with a weird council. I enjoy it more if I play a small nation where I don't have to fix this much. Still though, I think it's a decent cool mod. It's a nice challenge. In a few years, the sun will rise. Look at those casualty numbers, man. 3.8 million versus 11 million. Plus, we survived longer than Hitler did and longer than Japan did. 15th of August. Let's play until the 15th of August. Wait a minute. The Russians are attacking me in the Netherlands. In the future, I might check it out and go for another start or if I ever have the time, I can also dedicate a whole day to this. As it stands, I do have a real job. And always remember kids, Hitler has only got one ball. Goering has two but they're very small. Himmler is rather similar. But poor old Goebbels has no balls at all.